We are continuing to watch developments on Capitol Hill tonight where senators are preparing to take a procedural vote on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh tomorrow morning. But as they were behind closed doors looking at that FBI investigation into the accusation against Brett Kavanaugh, protesters are outside. They're marching on Supreme Court. The demonstrators are blasting the FBI's finding as incomplete. But top Republican leaders say the findings vindicate Kavanaugh. For goodness sake, this is the United States of America. Nobody is supposed to be guilty until proven innocent. Why don't we document water and see if he floats? Enough. Enough already. Let's vote. President Trump again praised Kavanaugh attending a campaign rally tonight in Minnesota. Well, one thing is for sure about this Kavanaugh nomination is that it's becoming very political. Tonight, an IU professor in political science tells us that he sees it from two sides. That's right. As an observer of current events, but also as a classmate of Brett Kavanaugh's at Yale in the mid-1980s. Bill Sherman admits he didn't hang out with Brett Kavanaugh, but he did live in the same dorm, Lawrence Hall. He still has his freshman yearbook, and he offered it up to the FBI to help agents get names of others who were there. And then I told the agent what the information was, and I think he also took my name and number and said he'd get back to me, and that was the last I heard. But he did hear from others who lived in the dorm. They, too, were reaching out to the FBI and getting the same non-response. There are people who stepped forward, a lot of my classmates, who had very important information, who basically were told in no uncertain terms, thank you very much, but leave us alone. Professor Sherman says some of his fellow students claim to have firsthand knowledge of the events in question. But he says it's clear to him that the FBI was hamstrung from the start. And I don't think it's the FBI's fault. I think they're very competent. But I think the investigation has been hemmed in by the Senate Republicans, including our own Senator Todd Young. I, you know, this is not, it's not just the people in Washington who, who do these things. It's the people we're electing. Sherman goes even further, saying that the FBI investigation is so lacking that it doesn't even deserve to be called an investigation. You know, I have a bike at home that has two broken tires. I can call it a Mercedes-Benz. It's not, it doesn't make it a Mercedes-Benz. This is not a, it's not an investigation. Again, the Senate is expected to take a procedural vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation tomorrow morning. We will bring that update as soon as it happens on all of our digital platforms and on the air here on Channel 13. We learned